So this is my current art area situation. I have a desk and like a desk with drawers and then I have this shelf and then I have all this stuff under here. So this is my desk. This is a really old kind of gross chair that I got from my aunt because she wasn't using it. Um, but this is a desk that my dad made me and it lifts up like a drafting table, but because I have all this stuff on it all the time, I can never use it as a drafting table. So that's one of my goals is to get this desk cleared off so I can lift it whenever I need to. Under this table, I have a bunch of canvases from my 20 portraits challenge. I have a portfolio over here. I have this um, chalkboard. I think I'm gonna erase it. I'll take you know some good pictures so I have that. These are my friends and then these are my friends. I have them out so I can see their beautiful faces all the time because I miss them. Um, but I think I'm gonna erase this because I've, the more I look at it, the less good it is. And I have these paintings of them, so it's fine. I'll erase that and I can use the chalkboard again because otherwise it's like, why do I have it? You know, just taking up space. Um, this is art supplies that I still need to review in a video. So that's stacked separate. Um, these are just some drawing boards. And then this is all stuff that needs to go up on my walls. So the top of the desk is just not functional at all. I have some pastel pencils and cups over here that I barely ever use, so it doesn't really make sense for them to be out like that. It takes up a lot of space that I just don't have. Um, I have my markers all in these. They're kind of getting a little cramped, so I might move those around. And then I bought this to hold all of these like boxes, but I can't take anything out of it without pulling this all the way off the shelf, so it doesn't make sense. I have some random pencils in here, some of which I use all the time, some of which I never use, and it's completely chock full, so things fall out all the time. Same with all my pens over here. It's so full that things are constantly falling out and then falling down the back of the desk. And then I have to pull all of this stuff out just to find the one pen that falls, so that sucks. I have all of my brushes in these two things, and it's they're, I don't like that they're separated, so I wanna fix that. Then we have this shelf, which frankly, I don't love that it's here at all. I think it kind of makes the room look a little, like I just don't like it, I think it's kind of ugly. <laughs> but I needed the space, so it's gotta be up there, and I probably will still need it after today. I have more markers, just random art supplies all up in here, like pens. These are all used sketchbooks. Um, this is a mess. This is usually like current stuff that I'm using, like my current sketchbook, my iPad, my notebook. Uh, and this is all painting supplies. And then I have a bunch of trinkets up there that I would love to find a better home because you can't see any of them and I want to be able to. And then we have this um, closet, which is filled with, uh, bear with me, it's so ugly and messy. Um, so I have my no issue tissue paper that I got. Um, I have mailing stuff. And then I have canvas and paper that used to be right there, but I needed that room for other things. So I had to move this stuff in here. So it works, like I'm not against having it in here, but I wish I had a better organization system. So that's my current situation. Like I said, I have a bunch of painting stuff under the bed, which I would love to have out more. I'm thinking that might go in the cart. Um, I have those two desks that the closet, stuff under the bed, stuff on the bed that needs a new home. Just a lot of stuff, just in a lot of places with no real organization. So I'm going to go build the shelf and then I'm gonna move this furniture. Well, first I'm probably gonna take literally everything off and start stacking it and organizing it into what it is. And then I will start moving the furniture around and see what kind of feels the best and then we'll go from there. There's really no real plan. I'm really worried that this is gonna take all day and nothing is gonna come from it, but we'll see, we'll see. Wish me luck. So, I did not record the first half. I guess I never press record, so that's a great. Um, so you didn't get to see me take most of the stuff off the shelves, but I have almost everything down on the floor now. I just need to go through a few more things. I'm debating if I even want to take stuff out of the closet or just kind of leave it up because I'm running out of room on my floor. Um, but I'm organizing that stuff into piles. I'm probably gonna show you the piles, maybe. Um, and then it'll be time to move the furniture around. So, you didn't miss anything. It's just a lot of me carrying things. All right, so let's go finish that up and then I'll show you all the different things I have, I guess. 
So this is the current situation, a um, bit of a mess. Here I have supplies that still need to be reviewed, so those will probably just stay on my floor. Over here I have my portraits from my 20 portraits painting video thing. Um, I need to find something to do with them because I do really want to keep them. I really like them, but I can't display 20 portraits. Um, here is some old art that I still really like. Here's a portfolio and old sketchbooks. And then this is a stack of things that I need to go through, just some originals, some paperwork for school, like just stuff that I have that I need to go through. This is all the new stuff that needs to be up on my walls eventually. And then this is um, scrap paper that I can still use or like sticker paper stuff to go in my sketchbook. This is stuff that needs to stay on my desk because it's what I grab all the time. This is stationary type stuff. <laughs> a lot of washi tape, pictures, current things that I'm using. So like my current sketchbook, my current planner, my current drool, drool oh my gosh, journal. This is like miscellaneous craft, normal stuff, like not art supply stuff. Um, journal stickers or like, you know, planner stickers, regular stickers, palettes, all old stuff slash a few like non-art things that I'm still using. This is all marker stuff. This is all acrylic paint stuff, two cases, some clay working stuff, oil paint stuff, watercolor, gouache. These are just like paint boards. This is all pastel and pastel pencils, paint brush type thing, you know, and like a holder. So paint brushes. This is like pens and marker pens. This is graphite and colored pencils. And this is my chalk stuff. And then I have all the trinkets that I want somewhere over here. So a lot of stuff. Um, no idea how I'm gonna organize any of it. So I'm gonna get around to moving the furniture. I'm thinking this Ikea shelf here or here and then the cart somewhere over here. And then maybe if I still need space, moving this along this wall. But we'll see. <laughs> Okay, so um, my phone ran out of room, so I was transferring footage. And while I did that, I organized all my markers in rainbow order, but besides that, I haven't gotten any further. My cheeks are starting to get really stiff and painful, so I think I'm gonna take a break and ice them for a while until I can take my meds next, and then I will continue. But for now, it's still just a mess on my floor. I literally don't know what to do next, so hopefully while I'm just laying on my floor in pain, some inspiration will come to me but I'll talk to you soon.
Okay, so this is the final result. I am very pleased with it. It's not perfect. It's not the super prettiest, most beautiful thing I've ever seen, but it's functional and it's way better than it was before. So I'm good. I'm fine with it. I've come to peace with it. The only thing that's missing is, well, there's two things missing. I have a bunch of loose pastel pencils that need a little case basically. So I'm waiting on that. And I still need to put up all of the stuff, not only here, but on all of my walls, but I'm too lazy. So that'll come at some point. Up here is just gonna be basically swatch markers, business cards from other artists, just things that I find inspirational, things like that. And that's it. So you're not you're not missing much, it's fine. Um, but yeah, let's quickly walk through it. I'm sweating like a pig because it's perpetually Satan's armpit in Florida. So let's get this done as quickly as possible. So this is the desk area. Like I said before, my dad made me the desk. Uh, this chair is for my aunt. It's disgusting. It has like fabric coming out of the bottom and it creaks like crazy, but it's very comfortable and it was free. So I'm not, I'm complaining a little bit, but it's, it could be worse. Um, and like I said, my only goal for the desk was to be able to prop it up with only having to take my laptop off and I succeeded. There's no longer anything cluttering up the desk and it is so nice. Oh my gosh. I love it. I'm so happy that it's clean now. Um, but anyways, the top of the Ikea shelf, yay! The Ikea shelf worked so well, so much better than the desk did before. I was really worried I would be losing space, but I definitely gained. Like, oh my gosh, so much better. So I have all of my markers stacked up here before I had these like side by side. Now I have them stacked. They just barely fit. It's perfect, I am so happy. Um, I just have them in rainbow order because obviously, um, yeah, I wanted them to be really close because like I reach for them the most often. So this worked out perfectly. I was afraid that they were gonna end up like up here or something. You can't see that. Um, but I managed to like get them exactly where I wanted them. Over here, I just have like computer stuff and then I have a cup, pretty little cup of all of my like literal go-to, so mechanical pencils red pencils, pencil sharpener, erasers. And then I have a water cup, cause I'm a thirsty bitch. Over here I have downsized the amount of cups that I had. So I have one of just pens, so like uh, microns, inking stuff, literal just pens. Then I have my long brushes and a ruler in this funky clown mug from my mom. She used to be obsessed with clowns when she was younger. So that's cool. I have all my little brushes in a jar. Is that an ASMR? I don't know. Um, I have like funky pens, so like non-inking stuff, acrylic pens, a Posca thing, um, other kinds of like marker pen things, some paint markers. It's not a lot, but I wanted them separate. And then I have a few loose Prismacolor pencils and a few watercolor pencils because I had no other place for those. And then I have graphite tools, so tortillons? I don't know what they're called. I think they're called tor tortillon, tor those things. And then graphite pencils, compass, that's it. And then I also have my Harry Potter quill because I'm a 12. Okay, so that's the top of the Ikea shelf. Let's move on. Okay, so the floating, the wall shelf. I have all of my old sketchbooks up here, which is just frankly better. I had them down here before and I like never look at them really. So there was no point in them being like front and center of the, it, it was pointless. So they're up there now, which is fine. And then I have trinkets, which I kind of wanted to be a little bit more dispersed, but I don't really have the room for that. So they're fine up there. Over here I have pastel stuff, stick pastels and tiny little case of pencil pastels. On my floor, I have a lot, I'm staring at them, a lot of loose pastel pencils and they're, I need a case for those. So once I have that, they'll be up there too. So, and then I have earbuds and my Polaroid. Down here I have my Draco Malfoy 
as well as everything I'm currently working with. So my iPad, my current sketchbook, a trash sketchbook, my planner, and my list keeper planner. Down here I have more markers. This is the um, Arteza stuff. I have Arteza paint markers and Arteza pens. This is open because I am literally always grabbing these. And then I have this little thing. It's like a wall decoration. And I really need to do something with it. I've had it for probably like years and I need, I need to paint it, but I'm lazy. So that's cool. Over here, I hope I'm in shot. I'm sure I, it's, it's, I don't care. Um, I have a Bucky Barnes I got him for Christmas. He is a bobblehead, which I don't love, but like Bucky Barnes Funko Pops are so hard to find. So I'm settling and I am done forever with Funko Pops. These are the only two I need. I also have this Draco Malfoy little figurine. Um, I love him. He came from a, like a Christmas shop last Christmas. And then this Christmas, I got this Ron and Hermione one. And kind of obsessed. They're like so ugly. I love it. They're so ugly. Um, I have this skunk from my grandma who is obsessed with skunks. She has, she used to have a pet skunk. Um, and she just has like a bunch of skunk trinkets. She was going through her stuff getting rid of some of them. So my sister has some, I have one. It's very cute. I also have this Joker like keychain decoration that I found on the ground in a Walmart parking lot. And I picked it up for no reason. I have a framed picture of me and my friend from a hike we went on years ago. I have a chakra candle from my friend and I have this, I think like a Walmart or Target organizer that's filled with scrap paper. So this is a bunch of like bits from like when I'm cutting fancy paper, I really can't do anything with these. So I keep them to like, where's it? to test my markers on um, because it's I, like, I don't want to waste them. It's good paper back here. Okay, come on back here. I have like cut paper that I can still use. Um, like I have this where I was going to start a drawing and never did, but I'm not going to throw this away. So like, this is just, if I need paper, I can check, like if I need to do a commission, I just check there to make sure I don't have that cut already. Recycling, re, I don't know. And then here's just stuff that I wanna use in my sketchbook. So I have like a fish cut out of a magazine, one of those like book poem where you black stuff out. Type, um, Cause I'm cool. This is so cute. We went to Sunken Gardens and you can feed the koi and they have this beautiful bag. So I'm gonna cut that out and I'm gonna make like a thing with that. So that stuff goes there. Before it was in a drawer and it was a mess. Here I have a bit miscellaneous kind of. Here are my oil pencils that I'm still trying to figure out what the heck to do with. And then this is Arte's like liner pen things. And then here's my Prismacolors. It's not ideal that they're all the way up here, but it is better than having to like, before this was like here and I had to take this out to take those out. Now I can just grab the Prismacolors and it's not perfect, but it's better. So that's fine. I have my spray stuff. If you've ever wondered what I spray on my graphite in my sketchbooks to keep it from like smudging, this is it. Got it off somewhere. Amazon, online, you can find it anywhere. And then I have Mod Podge. And then I just have like office supplies. Stuff, staples, staplers, clips. Okay, we're on the floor now. So here are all of my art books. I've been collecting these since like high school from used bookstores. Um, they used to be up on my bookshelf where I needed a ladder to reach them. So I literally never ever read them or opened them or looked at them, which is super sad because I like love to look at these things. And I know I would more often if they were in reach. And I already, I'm like, I've been pulling these out and looking at them a lot more. So two of two goals accomplished. Those were. This and the laptop thing are literally the only things I knew I wanted, so I am satisfied. Um, but yeah, books. Down here is just one of those like baskets full of like odds and ends. I have like post-its, a notepad, my chalkboard and the chalkboard markers, a painting I'm currently, currently working on. So just like literally random stuff, like loose papers that are hidden away. Over here I have, oh my God, I'm like, oh, palettes. I also have pastels. Over here I have palettes and a brush holder thing. 
nothing really special about that. And then down here I have all of my canvases and like old stuff. So they're technically still out, but they're not taking up the eight yards of, of floor space that they were before. Over here I have a portfolio. It just holds like really bad old, old stuff. I thought I saw a spider. We're fine. Like old stuff. And then I have two art boards that technically were stolen from my old art teacher. Okay, let's look at the cart now. This stuff, I don't know if you can see it, but it's just the move. The stuff that I need to make videos on still. So it's Jay chilling on my floor for now. In the top cart, I have gouache and then watercolor and then the stuff that goes with it. I have a few palette knives, like the, what's this called? Masking fluid. Yeah, paint stuff. Down here, I have all of my stickers. Here's like my loose stickers, a lot of Harry Potter stuff, some dinosaurs, some plants. And then I have all of my washi tape in here. I did not know I had so much washi tape. To be fair, some of it, my sister didn't want anymore, so I took it, but like, oh my God, I literally have so much washi tape. <laughs> and I feel like I never have enough, but I should probably stop buying it for a, a while. And then down here I have acrylic and then oils are in this bag. And then I have this to open my really terrible, terribly like messed up, tops of tubes that are really sticky. So yeah, that's, uh... and then I have this magnet that my sister got me last year. Sorry I missed church, I was busy practicing witchcraft and becoming a lesbian. So yeah, that's the cart. So that is my art space tour slash reorganization. I'm so sorry that this video is probably like so messy and disorganized and low quality. That's why I never normally film in my room. I go somewhere else to film. Terrible lighting, terrible angles. I don't have a tripod. Like my camera is on my like a loopy arm camera holder attached to a dinner chair right now. Like I don't have any proper filming equipment. It probably just looked so bad. I'm probably like seem like a mess right now because I'm trying to film this in the 30 minutes that my parents are gone at the store. So this was a mess and I'm so sorry, but I really wanted you guys to, to come along this journey with me because I, I like watching these videos. I think they're so fun and they always inspire me. So hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed this and got something out of it. Um, if not sucks for you, you watched it anyways. So yeah, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, you know, leave a comment, leave a like, whatever. It's a mess, so I won't blame you if you don't want to. Um, but I had a lot of fun. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Leave a comment telling me something good that happened to you this week, because I'm interested. I want to know. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm, this is such a mess. Okay, bye. Do, go do some art. Bye.